One man made a mistake that cost him over a million dollars. And we want to know, are you making that mistake too? And we're going to talk about that coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome back to an all new edition of the Sunday Night Sit Down with America's number one money couple. I'm Talit. And I'm Ty, and we're from hisandhermoney.com, where we're managing money, marriage, and everything in between. The Sunday Night Sit Down is being brought to you by Audible. Love reading, but wish you had more time to get into your favorite books? What if you could use the time you already have and listen to the books you already love? Well, now you can with Audible. With Audible Books, you can be inspired, entertained, and educated anywhere, anytime. Choose from the bestsellers in self-development, business, nonfiction, and more. So what are you waiting for? Your first 30 days are free. Visit hisandhermoney.com forward slash audible to get started today. That's hisandhermoney.com forward slash audible. Well, guys, we're so glad that you guys are back here with us for another fantastic Sunday night sit down. And we kind of want to share a story with you all that could be an eye opener for a lot of you tuned in. See, we came across a story of a free agent NFL running back by the name of Trent Richardson. And in this story, it detailed the fact that he lost $1.6 million dollars by simply making one huge mistake. And you know what that mistake was? He just simply was not paying attention to his bank account. He had given access to a couple of close friends and some special family members to his bank account. So it wasn't like he was being robbed of this money because he had given them access. And one day, he just looked. He just said, you know what? I decided to look at my bank account. And over the last, over a 10-month span, $1.6 million spent that he could not account for. He found things like something like 11 Netflix accounts, 8 and Hulu Hulu's, accounts, yeah. and a bar service tab from various clubs. And the thing about it is he, he doesn't, doesn't even, even drink. drink. I know. And so it was so mind-blowing to read but I know a lot of you are like, what was he thinking? Man, what a loser. But the truth is, when you think about it, are you making a similar mistake? Are you also turning a blind eye to what's going on in your bank account? That's right. And many of you probably are. You know, Tyler and I, we teach a financial stewardship class um, at our church. And one of the assignments that we give our students is that they must pull three months of their bank statements and calculate them and write them all down. You know, from food to clothing to gas to dining out to utilities. And guys, it never fails. Every single time our students come back shocked. Like, depressed. Oh, depressed. Some <laughs> of them even crying, yes. believe it or not. You know, just embarrassed to say, oh, how did I not know this? How did I get this uh, past me? You know, an interesting part of that story uh, that I read was, he said, you know, people were telling him all along, hey, you might want to check your account. Such such might be spending this money. And he said, that's just like telling a child, stop running down the hallway. You know, how many of you have gotten those signs? How many people have come up to you and say, hey, how's your credit looking? Um, maybe you're spending a little too much. And we ignored the signs. It's time for us to take our head out of the sand and start paying attention to our finances. We don't want you to hear this story and let it go one and out the other like, oh, just another rich uh, NFL right. star that just was reckless with his money. No. How does this story compare to your life? That's why we came here with this Sunday night sit down yeah. episode for you to be honest about the person in the mirror. Yeah. Are you paying attention to the transactions that are going on in your bank account? Because you know what? It's not just reckless spending, but hey, there could be some fraudulent charges that pop up. And if you're not on top of your bank statements, your debit statements, your credit statements, there could be tons of money leaving your account 
without your knowledge and putting mm. you in a financial bind that you do not want to be in. This is one of the core components of the course that we created, Teach Me How to Budget, which you can find at teachmehowtobudget.com. And the reason we created this awesome course is because we know that in order to reach financial freedom, you are going to have to develop a level of discipline in this area or else you can kiss those financial goals goodbye. That's right. So guys, now it's time to start taking action with your finances. Definitely head over to teachmehowtobudget.com and join us. We're going to walk you through this process. But also, make sure that you look at your accounts. Some of you all may say, well, Ty and Talent, how often should I look at my accounts? Well, some of you may, you know, put it as part of your daily routine. You might pull up your accounts now online or even... They have apps. Your banks now probably yeah. have an app on your phone. It doesn't have to be time consuming. It doesn't have to be time consuming. Just a quick two minutes in the morning just to make sure that all the transactions that you did the previous day were yours and not fraudulent. And hey, that'll help you stay on top of everything. So guys, take action today. Yes. Don't just let this be a word of entertainment, yeah. but let this be action provoking and let's get on top of our finances. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, check us out over at our website at hisandhermoney.com. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Come on now. Subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so every time we release a video, you will be notified. And meet us back here next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where you will see the both of us sharing with you. Well, that's all for this week, guys. It's been great. Until next time, peace. Bye.